Hi guys and welcome to another WooCommerce video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. A little while ago we built this WooCommerce store here. And of course we added products. If I just go to a product. If you want to learn how to build this store we did a series on it on the YouTube here. I'll put the playlist below the video if you want to follow along. And what we're going to do today, I'm on a product page and say you want to add a bit of text to all of your products and perhaps add a button or something like that to every single product. Rather than have to go through every single product, I'm going to show you how to do it today by just editing a particular file and it'll appear on all products. So I'm going to get rid of this new text that I've added here and this button that I've added here. I've done this, I am built this site locally if you want to learn how to do this. I've got a course down on that below. So let's just delete what I've put in there. Control S. I'm using brackets text editor. It's absolutely free. And you can download it from a link below. Okay, now I refresh that button and that bit of text should be gone. There we go. So this is what we've got initially on all of our products it's going to look pretty much like this and what i want to do is to every product is just add a little announcement below the price here and perhaps a button that'll allow people to continue shopping so let's get started if you're online i'll show you how to do it i'm i'm local here so i'll show you the file that i'm going to edit right here so here's my WordPress root directory for this site that we've got here. I want to go into WordPress content. We're going to go into plugins. I'm going to go down to WooCommerce. I'm going to go down to templates. And we want to go into the single product folder right here. And the file we want to edit is the price PHP right here. So I'm going to open it with my brackets text editor. Here it is. I'm just going to move that out of the way. I'm like I say, I'm doing this locally. If you're doing it online to your your live site, you'll be in a C panel like this. This is your public HTML. It'll be in exactly the same place. WordPress content. It'll be plugins, WooCommerce, templates, single product, and price. And you can right click and you can edit in your C panel if that's the way you need to do it. But like I say, I'm doing it localhost. So I've opened mine up in my brackets text editor here. Here it is. Now if we look down here, I'm not going to get deep into PHP, but this is just grabbing a hook. This is a hook, it's grabbing the product price. So we know this is the price right here. So let's drop down below. I'm going to put a bit of code, BR, break. And I'm simply going to put some HTML below. I'll give it, say, a title of H3. And I'll say, new line coming soon. And perhaps we want something under that. So let's add a break. Well, we don't need to add a break. Let's add some paragraph text under there. P. Say, Well, uh, we'll say how's that sound? Something like that. So we've got a header text, and then we just got a little paragraph underneath. So let's say that Control S. Let's go back to our site and refresh. Under these prices, we should see our header and our little bit of paragraph text there. There we go. New line coming soon. New line expected 11, 16, 19, which is exactly what we put in there. But not only will this be on this page, you can go to any product and it should be on their price page as well. So it's a great way of putting a global bit of information in without having to edit every single product. 
So here we are, we're on a different product, evening belt, and there's our little tag there. So let's go one step further. What if we want to add a little button that says continue shopping? Well, we can do the same thing. I'll use our heading text for our button right here. Let's go back to the editor. Like I say, you may be using an online one. Let's put a break in there so there's a gap between the bottom of the text and our little button here. And like I say, I was going to use an H3 for it. And what I want my H3 to say is something like continue shopping. Okay, and to make it interesting, what we need to do is give it a bit of style. So we say style equals. Now, I don't want it to be full width, so I'm going to make it give it a width of say width 250 pixels semicolon. Um, I want the text to be aligned center because I'm going to give it a background color so it's in the middle. So we'll say text align center. And we want the color, the text color, to be white because we'll give it that sort of pinky background. So we'll say color white, which is FFF. Now the background color, we want to find our background color. So let's go see what we want here. Oh, I've got a typo there. Let's just fix that. It should be a hashtag, not a three. That's in a, got to spell things right with HTML and CSS, else it will not work. So let's see. I want it to be this color right here Let's see if we can there it is I'm using Google Chrome I just right clicked and expect inspected it there and it gave me the color of that item that's the background color that we want so hashtag there's the color. Okay, then we need to put a bit of space around the actual word text itself. So let's have a bit of padding, say 10 pixels all around. So all we need to write is padding 10 pixels because there's one entry that will put 10 pixels space all around that top, right, bottom, and left. You can do individuals if you want to. Okay, well that's good. That should look like a button, but it's not actually going anywhere yet. Okay, so let's wrap our text here in an anchor tag. So we'll say A, href, and where do we want it to go? Well, I guess we want it to go to, let's put that code in correctly, equals, open some inverted commas. There we go. Well, and inside those inverted commas is where we want it to actually go. So it's the name of the site. Obviously, you can just copy the URL of any page you want it to go. In fact, I'll do that right here. Why don't I just do that? Let's take them back to, say, the sale page. Have we got a sale page? There's an on sale page. Just open that page. And if you're online, it'll say your domain product category on sale I'm just simply gonna copy this link back to my text editor and I can paste it right in there instead of just typing it out you can actually lose the first bit because it's gonna look there anyway which would be your domain name there's the opening hey hey let's just close it out right here just before the continue shopping bit. And then we want to make sure that closing anchor tags the other side of the writing there. So it's sort of encasing it. 
So I'll just cut that. And put it in there. So we've got opening anchor tag and it's encasing our bit of writing there. I'll just close that gap there. And finally, I'm going to put a break on the end, BR, just in case there's anything right underneath it, it'll give it a bit of space. So let's save that. There's our button, there's our little bit of text, there's our heading. Control S, let's go back to the site. Click on any product, it shouldn't matter at all. And there we go, there's our title, there's our new line expected, and there's our continue shopping button. We could make that even shorter. Let's make it a bit shorter. If we look at our brackets, well, it's 250. Let's make it 200. Save that. Control S. That's not made a lot of difference. I spelled it wrong, that's why wid, wid, hit. th. See what I was saying before, that if you talk and type, you get it wrong, and if you spell it wrong, it doesn't work. Control S, back to the site, that may be too short. Yeah, that's too short, I don't want it doubled up like that, so let's take it back to say 250. See if that'll fix that problem. Control S to save. There we go, perfect, just what I wanted. And if we look on any product, it should have that same button and that same text. Uh, we've done the belts, what about the bags? There we go. So there you have it. There's how to bulk add some captions and buttons to your product pages without having to edit each one individually. So I hope you've enjoyed that. If you have, please give it a thumbs up share, comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're interested in web development, take a look down below. We've got some great free courses down there, as well as some premium courses with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers. So do check it out. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.